My Rube Goldberg machine. The cup is down here. It fills water so the ball does not go out of the cup when it lands. So this is a simple machine. All simple machines, and just like this one, are not 100% efficient. Just because when the train, for example, rolls down the track, it causes friction, which you can feel if you touch the tracks for a little while. And usually there's a marble here, it's right there, because I already rolled the experiment. But there's marble right here, and this is not a smooth surface. It doesn't float across this like it would if it was on ice. So it causes friction when it's going through here. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can change its form. And it's changing its form, for example, right here. It has the train has potential energy right here. But once I let it go and it rolls down the track, it turns into kinetic energy because it is a moving energy. There are a bunch of real energy transformations in here, like say this is the kinetic energy, there's a magnetic energy transformation right here. When these two trains come together, they usually stick together, but I don't know why they aren't right now. See, they're inseparable. Um, 
and that is all there is to my machine. Now we are going to roll the experiment, so...
In this short video, we are going to learn about the law of conservation of energy. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can be transformed from one form to another, but cannot be created or destroyed. What this means is that the total amount of energy in the universe never changes. The energy we had at the start of the universe is the same as it is now, billions of years later. Even the sun, the source of nearly all energy on Earth, does not actually create energy. It just releases nuclear energy found within the atoms that make it up. One day, the sun will run out of nuclear potential energy, and the sun will quote-unquote burn out. The energy is not destroyed, however. No energy can be destroyed. Rather, energy is transformed, often into forms humans consider unusable energy, such as sound energy. This is the main principle behind the device you see above, often called Newton's Cradle. The idea behind Newton's Cradle is that energy is transferred from the first swinging ball through the stationary hanging ones to one on the other end of the row that will pop up to the same exact height as the original. As that ball comes back down, it transfers energy back through the stationary balls into the first one, popping it back up to the original height. The idea is that since energy can't be destroyed, the first ball should transfer 100% of its energy through each of the three stationary balls into the ball on the end, popping that ball up to the same height as the first ball. It should have the same amount of energy as the first ball since all of it was transferred. According to the law, this process should continue forever, since energy cannot be used up or destroyed. However, energy escapes the cradle in other forms, such as very small amounts of thermal energy created when the ball strike. Also, every time the balls make a cracking noise as they hit, some energy is lost as sound energy. Over time, the cradle will lose enough energy in these ways, as well as being slowed down by air friction, that the balls will stop moving. Just remember that new energy is never created and can never be destroyed. It is just often transformed into unusable. unusable.